1 verse 1 and 2 which reads in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was with god in the beginning what do you understand about the covenant box what do you know about the meaning of the gates of Jerusalem? The truth lies at Minds of Truth Show, hosted by anointed servants of God. Tune in to Pacific Waves Television. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, our viewers and listeners, this is Carrier Prestige. I want to welcome you to our favorite program, Minds of Truth Show. And now I want to welcome the servant of God, who is going to share the word of God with us. Welcome. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are streaming from, we are happy to have you today in our program on Minds of Truth, program with Pacific Wave TV. You are most welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We are happy to have you today. Kaidre Rogin, Kaidre share, 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 share. We always encourage you to share wherever you are. And we shall be happy to be together with you. We want to thank you so much for being patrons, for being a blessing to us, for the likes and the sharing that you have been doing, for the comments that you wrote down there all the time. It has been such an encouragement. It gives us an inspiration and it gives us the strength to move forward and to move forward in the name of Jesus. My name is Sarevdet Masi Machari. I'm born again by the grace of God. And I want to welcome you today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm sure that for the few minutes we shall be here. Beloved, we shall be blessed of the Lord. And the Lord shall do us great in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? We got silent before your ever presence, almighty and everlasting Father, this morning. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, mighty everlasting Father, for giving us this eighth day, King of glory, in this new year. We give you all honor and we give you all the glory. Thank you, mighty everlasting Father, for the grace that has brought us this far. And my Father, we do pray that your grace will continue upholding us to the end of time, King of glory. Were this not for your amazing grace, we could not have made it this far. We give you honor and give you all the glory. We humble ourselves before you, God Almighty, beseeching you, Lord, that you may pardon us of our menaces and our many wickedness, of our iniquities, O oh Lord, we lay ourselves bare before you. The Lord, you may pardon us, that Lord, you may cleanse us, that you may, Lord, make us oneness with you, Jehovah God. That even as we, oh, we look forward to hearing from you, my everlasting Father, King of kings, you shall use me as a vessel, worth of honor, God Almighty, to be used of you. I surrender myself unto you, God, that you may use me to become a blessing to our viewers and to our listeners this morning in the name of Jesus. I cannot make it without you, Lord. I wholly dependent on you, get the guidance of your Holy Spirit, O King of Glory, that you may be able to be blessed. We pray thank you for every listener, God, and we pray that as we read your word, it shall come forth with power and anointing to bless, to correct my father, to rebuke, and even to strengthen and to give us hope for tomorrow. For it is our humble prayer of and thus giving through Christ our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. As I've said, my name is Reverend Massey Macharia. I'm born again this morning by the grace of God. Allow me, brethren, to uh, convey, to continually convey my heartfelt condolence. My heartfelt condolence to one of my friends, our brother, Deleva Dongo, that's what we call him here, who lost the whole family in a fire back in Kenya. And we want to say to our brother, Honestly speaking, may the Lord of all comfort my brother continue to comfort you, my brother. May the Lord uphold you during this very difficult and very challenging hour of darkness. May the light of God, who is the way, the truth, and the life, uh, lighten your path. May he give you and your entire family the hope for tomorrow. We are confident that the Lord will see you through this. We are confident. You are in our prayers and we pray that the Lord will continue to comfort you and give you the strength. We pray that you shall find strength in the Lord. Fight strength in the Lord. David fought strength in the Lord. Fight strength in the Lord in the name of Jesus. We look forward to 
even the laying of the listing the 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 the, 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 the remains of our dear ones back in kenya and we trust god for uh, uh you know a, a graceful and, and a god guided and uh you, you know the presence of god in the whole activity in the name of jesus you are in our prayers my brother and also our condolence goes to every other person who has lost their dear ones uh, whose dear ones are erring we pray that the lord may continue to give you strength in the lord in the mighty name of jesus allow me brethren to go to the word of today and today we shall be you around me to read the scripture i'll take a bit of time because i will read 25 verses but I felt persuaded by the Holy Spirit of God to lead that because this is the minds of truth. Whereby we go digging and mining to the word of God. Mining deep into the word of God. And I would like us to mine today. And the message that the Lord, when I was here last, uh, last Tuesday, I talked about um, the, the Holy Spirit being our GPS in the 2024. The Holy Spirit being our GPS and being my personal GPS. Because I'm the one who is on the sterling, but I want to be listening to that small voice that comes after everything has happened. And therefore, the small voice whispered to me this morning to speak about the small keys, the small keys, the small keys that open the huge and big doors. The small keys, K-E-Y-S, keys that open the huge and the big doors. And those are the keys of thanksgiving. Children of God, when I was trying to reflect on the thanksgiving, the Lord reminded me that God the, God the Son came and became incarnate of Virgin Mary, and he was conceived through the help of the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary. And he was born in the human nature yet God. And therefore, the procedures of human development, Jesus went through them. And that is why through those processes, he understands whatever. He became human, yet God, and he understands whatever processes that we go through. And therefore, when we cry and mourn and get torn and marry and do what, he understands us so well because he did not just remain God in heaven, God the creator, but he became the incarnate of Virgin Mary and got into the human being, son of man. And therefore, our God appreciates thanksgiving. And my sister, my brother, it is important for us to understand there is a lot of power there is a lot of power that comes along with that giving. Just saying, thank you. But unfortunately, this thank you, human beings don't try to relate with it. Because sometimes, when somebody, uh, somebody gets whatever you, you, you are looking for, chances are that when you are gratified, when you are contented, now you get mesmerized and you get lost in the achievement. In whatever you have acquired, it carries you off. You get mesmerized. You forget the provider. You forget the giver. You forget somebody labored somewhere to make it come to where you are. You are. Thank you is a small key that not only open the local doors, that not only open the regional doors, but open the universal doors. The word thank you. Thank you. And I want to tell you, brethren, as we start the new year, because we are light, light almost in the first half of the new year, in the, in the new month. My sister, my brother, as you lay your request and your animation, this one last time, as you lay your request, mumble them from one all the way to pages and pages. In the new year. I am praying and I'm requesting you, beloved, post a borugame. One time when I was fellowshipping in, in Kenya, I used to fellowship in the St. James Cathedral, Kiambu, in, in the Diocese of Mount Kenya South. Uh, one speaker came from a uh, courtesy of the bishop, of our Lord Bishop, from, from the UK. And he came, the brother, I remember the brother was called Brother David. And in his big speech, he just told us, it was in the beginning of the year, and he told us, Brethren, 
Can you fast a purpose? You have taught God so much and so much and so much you have cried before God and what have you. Even when you are crying, it is important to pause and listen now. Now that I have cried this much, how is God responding? And therefore, brethren, as you start this new, it's important for you to pause to the answer. Mm. I reflect. There was this list of the many things that you wrote. And God did not answer all of them. Before you ever read how many he has answered and how many he has not answered, Weka ichi ni kwanza. Keep that one uh, separate a little bit. But go back and different like, like Abraham was told. Save your son. Look at the bush. I have provided the lab of sacrifice. My sister, my brother, it's important for you to first of all, forget a little bit for a minute. And if on the list that you had written for many things to go for God to do. But you focus on what God has done minus your prayers. And you'll be surprised. They are greater than what you're focusing on. And therefore, thanksgiving come. I want us to see, so that we don't get lost and we don't lose track. I want to read the word of God, brethren. And that's the book of Daniel. And remember that our, 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 our message today is on the small keys. Brethren, the big doors, the save, the amali, the amali, the big doors, incidentally, by the grace of God, the Lord gave me a chance to go to the to, to Jerusalem. And when you went to the, 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 the eastern gate and the big gates, you I, I was I was curious to see the padrocks that lock those doors. You'll be surprised that, that, that those those gates, apart from the handles, the padlocks that are being suspended there is a padlock that is so small, yet it's a it's swinging, it's the one that is rocking the huge war gates of jerusalem the huge gates of jerusalem there i'm talking about and and it's a, you need a small key just a small key to open that padlock or to open that door and therefore brethren the word that's giving we would like to go into the into the word of god and see a small key that has opened numerous doors for the men and women of god the children who give them to the, to the parents, they touch their heart and many things have come vis-a-vis -vis those children who keep on grumbling. The servants, the, you know, in whichever capacity that you are in, if you get used to thanking, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My goodness, you attract amazing blessings. Amazing. Let's see this. In Daniel chapter 6, huh? I want to read out to 25 because if I read part of it, I'll not, you'll not be able to understand. We are digging into the mines. It pleased Darius to appoint 120 satraps to rule, uh, to, to rule throughout the kingdom with three administrators over them. One of them was Daniel. Understand that. That the satraps were soldiers that were in charge of 100 of 100. And therefore, the word of God says what? It the priest Darius, the king, to appoint 120 surplus to rule, to rule throughout the kingdom. With the three, note, with the three administrators over them. Over who? Over the, over the satraps who were in charge of 100 people and they were 120. So Daniel was on top of this. One of whom was Daniel. The satraps were made accountable to them. So, below, the satraps who are in charge of the hundred people were reporting to Daniel and other two. So that the king might not suffer us. So that the king can have connection to the grassroots. He used to come from the king is now the, the, the Daniel and the rest of and the, two, the other two guys. Below them were the satraps and below them were the people. Now Daniel so, so distinguished himself among the administrators. Daniel distinguished himself among the administrators. And the satras, by his exceptional qualities, that the king planned to set him over the whole of the kingdom. Hear that. Because he was exceptional, because he was excellent in his performance, the king chose. There were three of them 
But the king chose to pick Daniel and set him here to rule over the whole kingdom. At, at this, the administrators and the satras tried to fight grounds of charging against Daniel in his conduct of government affairs, but they were unable to do so. Brethren, what were kukuchorea? Walikuweko wakati wa Daniel? Walikuweko historiote na wako na watadira kuweko? Watu wakufanya nini? Wakukuchorea wewe wanguke. Do you hear? The guys who are below, the satraps who are below Daniel, and Daniel was here, and, and the, the king wanted to remove Daniel from here and charge him in charge of the kingdom, they looked at Daniel. They were not annoyed by the Daniel performance. They were only jealous and envious. And what did they do? They tried to scheme how Daniel can be pulled down now that the, 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 the king wants to take him up. My sister, my brother, when the Lord wants to take you up, satraps you not miss. Satraps you not miss. What waovu hawatakosa. It's important for you to know that. And that is the, that, that is the historical. They could find no corruption with him. He because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor diligent. Hmm? So now that we, that now that we cannot get we, we cannot accuse him of corruption. We cannot accuse him of untrustworthiness. We cannot accuse him of negligency. What are we going to do? The satraps and the rest of the administrators are themselves. What did they do? Finally, this man said, We will never find any basis of changes against this man, Daniel, unless it is with something to do with the law of his God. Unless it is with something to do with the, with the law of his God. So these administrators and the satraps went as, uh, as a group of, uh, uh, let me repeat that, six. So these administrators and the satraps went as a group to the king and said, what did they say? May King Darius live forever. You can see them before the king. The loyal administrator, prefects, satraps, and advisors and the governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce to decree that the, anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next that good or Oshara. I don't know whether all this was necessary, but these guys are looking at ways of pulling David, uh, uh, Daniel down. Hey, and they came together, and it's important for you, brethren, to note this. That this was a combination of the administrators, others who are called the prefect, others who are called who, they came together. And when they came together, what did they do? Your majesty shall be thrown, uh, you know, uh, this is what they told the king. King come out with an edict and enforce the, the decree that anyone who plays to any god or human uh, being during the next 30 days, they even said that this, except to you, your majesty shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now your majesty has issued the decree and put it in, lit, in lighting so that it cannot be altered in accordance with the law of Medis. And the, and, and the Persians, they cannot, they cannot be repeated. So the king Darius put the decree in writing. Now then Daniel re learned that the decree had been published. He went home to his upstairs room, where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down off his knees and prayed, giving thanks to God. Can I repeat that again? Now, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, uh, he, uh, published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows were open toward Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed and gave thanks to God. I may not have time to read the rest. My brethren can have time to read the rest. But I cannot pick, I cannot forget to say this. That these guys... Trapped Daniel. If you did the, 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 the chapter all the way to 20, 20, 23. They trapped Daniel, caught Daniel. The administrators, the suppers, the prefects knew what time Daniel used to pray. And therefore they went, opened the door. Daniel did not close the door. Got in and got Daniel praying in the morning, in the evening, in the midday, 
and in the evening. There we, they were. Because they missed to get Daniel on any other account. King, may you leave the king. Hmm. King, do you understand something? That the decree that you wrote, Daniel is still worshipping the God facing, facing Jerusalem. And therefore, what, what, did, what did they do? They, they insisted and they proposed and pursued the king. And the king said, if there is Daniel who is not worshipping me, and me alone, get him. What happened when he was God 17? A stone was brought and placed. Actually, let's, let's start from 16. So the king gave the orders that they brought Daniel and, and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, may your God, may your God whom you serve continuously, continuously, let's kill you, let's kill you. And the, a stone was brought and the place over at the, on the mouth of the den. And the king seated. And the king sealed, sealed with, with, with his own signet ring. You, you see these links, the big rings that are, the signet ring is the, the thing that is put by the kings and they has got these spikes. So those spikes are not decided to hurt, to hurt somebody, to hurt somebody. They are supposed to be when they put the melting, <coughs> the melting substance on something, the king puts his signet ring there. Meaning when he removes his hand, that seal cannot be removed. And that's exactly what the king did here. He sealed. He sealed on top of up there with his signet ring. Why did he do that? So that so that Daniel's situation might not be changed by anybody. Then the king and the returned to his palace, spent the night without eating and without the entertainment and without being brought to him anything. 19. At the, at the light of the dawn, the king got up and hurried to the, to, to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called out to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continuously, be, have your God whom you serve continuously been able to secure you from the lion's den? Daniel answered, May the king live with a lot of respect. Oh, I love this. May the king live. The king who put him in there. May the king live forever. My God sent his angels and shut the mouth of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in the sight. Nor have I ever done wrong before you and your majesty. The king was overjoyed. And the whole story goes down like that, brethren. Until when the surpluses and all who had actually conspired against Daniel, the word of God says they were thrown and the, the lions did not even allow, allow them. It is the surpluses of those who organized scheme against Daniel. And their wives and their children who were thrown, the word of God says down here, that they did not even lie down there. They were teared and their bones were crushed. Who do we want to say, brethren? Amidst this conspiracy, amidst this conspiracy, Daniel knew the, these guys had conspired against him. Who are they? The loyal administrators, the prefects, the surplus, the advisors, and the governors have all agreed. The whole, that was the whole authority. It was the whole authority, my sister, my brother. But who, uh, against who? Against Daniel. But Daniel chose. That was a little force, my sister, my brother. It was a little force. By the way, who was remaining? Nobody. Nobody. Apart from the king who was seated up there. Everybody. Everybody was against Daniel. Not because he was corrupt. Not because he was negligent. Not because of he was untrustworthy. But because he worshipped his God. Three times. My sister, my brother, what? I was talking about the small kids that opened the big, the huge doors. Daniel... When he knew these people are coming against him, he went down to him. Now, Daniel went into his upper room, faced Jerusalem, prayed in the morning, in the midday, and thanked God. How does one thank God amidst walking and walking and walking? My sister, my brother, everybody, when everybody is against you, for no apparent reason, Daniel, because he had an intimate relationship with God. 
He knew his God. He was connected with God. The people who are connected with God, thank God, inside the fire. If look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they told God, Daddy, even if you don't save us from this fire, I go to roll your guy. I not the to my sisters, my brothers. When everything goes crazy, when everybody comes against you, when your job is is when go you know, the environment that you are in place is a nuisance in the family, wherever when the economy is crazy, when everything is falling apart. How can you thank God? How? If you are Daniel, the only thing that can make you thank God, my sister, my brother, when everything has gone out of hand, like it did for Job. Oh, what you have put together for years and years. She had not let the children that you have brought up. I had one that you have supported, the spouse that you have supported. For off. How can you thank God? My sister, my brother, it is the way, the time that we touch the heart of God, when we touch the heart of God in thanksgiving, when we are inside fire itself, the people who are able to thank God inside the fire themselves, thank you God when you are inside the fire, when you are inside a very compromised situation, and to invite the presence of God into your compromised situation, into your challenges, and it opens the doors of heaven, it touches the heart of God, my sister, my brother. When Chandra can be shaken a bed, you know, God said, even if you don't save us, oh, oh my God, your salvation for us out of this fire and out of this furnace does not define you. You are bigger than that salvation. We know you are the mighty God. We know even if you don't save us from this fire, you still remain God. Chandra can be shaken a bed, you know, did not confine God within that. He is way far bigger. He is way far bigger than that fire. And no wonder when they thank God, when they told God that, when they honored God, it is on the door of heaven. And Jesus came and became the, that, the fourth person. I pray that you understand this. I pray that you understand this, my sisters, my brothers. That whenever you are, when these are not working, Daniel continued to worship. At the Metro decree, we worship the king. Me, I worship the king. I know you are out for me. I know Daniel was not. Daniel was a wise man. He knew everybody was out for him, but he chose to retreat and go and kneel down and pray and thank God. I can try to imagine he was worshiping. God, I thank you. I thank you. I know you fight this battle. I thank you. I know that year was not a good year. I know this and this you did not answer because you had a good reason why you did not answer. You did not answer this prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You did not answer this prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You did not answer this prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You did not answer this prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Because if you could have all answered this one, maybe whatever you could have given me could have consumed me and my family, could have consumed me and my ministry, could have consumed me and my business could have consumed those allowed me that's why you did not answer my sister my brother it's my prayer that as we advance in 2024 we adore ourselves to a who bear who shall may our heart be full of that giving when this don't work our way thank you guy when people come against you thank you guy when you lose your job, thank you, guy. When you lose that and that, thank you, guy. When this don't work, when people you least expected come against you or sprung to pull you down, thank you, guy. Thank you, guy. When you are sick, thank you, God. When you lose the dear ones, thank you, God, because you could see. You could see it happening. Sometimes it has become so difficult. How could you how could have done your thanked God? Thanksgiving, Hannah did not cease from going to Shiloh. Hannah, why did Hannah? Hannah, the wife of Verikana, did not cease to go to Shiloh. She used to go to Shiloh and go to Shiloh. What reason was taking Hannah to Shiloh? And year after and year and year after and year and year after and year, when she could, they could do together with Penina and she could see Penina getting children and she was like, what? It's my prayer, my sister, my brother, tonight and this morning that we are going to develop that personal Relationship, you know, relationship that you, it cannot be, you cannot be divorced with God. It's so intact. It's so intimate. And you understand God that even in fire, he 
he is there. Even when you are having down sights, he is there. Even when in the darkest hour of your life, he is like there. In every difficulty, if you scan it and open it and uh, cotonize it and you know open it right, clearly, you will find God right inside. There are some beautiful fruits. Uh, there are some fruits that look so not very attracting from outside. But the minute you open that fruit like this, also, wow, wow. It's my prayer, my sister, my brother, as I ate this. When Daniel thanked God, prayed and thanked God amidst the pressure of the highest level, God came. God sent in the den of lions who were feeding with the flesh and, and human beings. The one that the word of God says were the satyrs and their family and the children were thrown there that their bones had been crushed by those lions. And they are the ones that saved the Daniel because of his thanksgiving to God. The king came and said, oh, oh. And, the, and you see, I love the confession of the king. When he said, Daniel, servant of the living God, can you hear the confession of the king? Actually, when we thank God, the impartation of the power of God starts impacting people, even those ones who are against you. The king, he's the one who ordered Daniel to be thrown there. But hear what the king said in verse 19. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, has your God, has your God whom you serve continuously, see you one time and the other, continuously, have been able to rescue you from the den of lions. And yet, and when the king found that Daniel was safe, I'm imagining that, that the king opened, woke up Daniel from asleep because he was enjoying the fire, the huge fire of the lions, because you see that fire as a pillow. And then the king is calling there, and then Daniel is there. Oh, hey, hey, oh, and then he, he went aside and said, Oh, Daniel answered, May the king live forever. And you know what, brethren? Thanksgiving did not only invite God in the dead, suppressing all the negative forces. When the king found that Daniel was alive, the word of God says that this, verse 24, at the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den, along with their wives and their children. And before they lit the floor, uh, uh, and before they lit the floor, uh, the, before they lit the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. The king Darius wrote all the, the nation and the people of every language. Hear this. Then the king Darius wrote to all the nations and the people of every language. So the interpreters were involved. Of every language in all the earth. In all, not just his nation. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Of all the language in all the earth, may you prosper greatly. I issue a decree in that every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reference the God of Daniel. Blessed be the name of the living God. When we thank God, I pray that God will give us, will give us an interpretation of thanking God. Even in an old class, thank God. Even in hospital, thank God. Even in wherever, thank God. Even what happened, thank God. I pray that God will put, I mean you thank God like a fool. Thank God even when it does not make sense. Because that one made the same king, eh? Who had ordered Daniel to be drawn in the den. Ordered the same king. That he ordered another, another decree. That the God of Daniel be left as two. And be worshipped across. And he wrote mails, letters, or whatever they were. And they were interpreted in all the languages. Therefore, the presence of God was not only felt in the den, but across. To every language. To every language. And it is not just in the region of Persia. It was in the earth. The fires that the king Darius was administering. My sister, my brother, as you sum up this, it's my prayer 
that you and I shall embrace our language on thus giving. Aki mungu watu weke tu urimi wa kushukuru. Urimi wa kushukuru tu. Wa kushukuru tu. Hata liwe lipi ama liwe lipi. Liwe lipi ama liwe lipi. And can we do that without the help of the Holy Spirit? The GPS? No. 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 Some situations that we go through are very painful. Very, very painful. You don't even perform, you don't even connect. They are so painful, oh Jesus. So painful to everybody. We are human. We are we are cray. But we pray that the Holy Spirit of God will help us to be over that. To go over that. We will we, we, we move us to the next level of grace. The next level of grace. The next level of grace. To be able to thank God in all situations. What could you be going through right now? What could you be going through right now? Is it a terminal disease? Thank God. Is it bankruptcy, declared bankrupt? Thank God. Is it that your business went down? Thank God. Because thanking God attracts his presence into the scene. It is called thanking God unconditionally. Thanking God unconditionally. What could you be going through? Have you lost a dear one? Thank God. And that thanking God, you may not understand why you are thanking God. But the Lord calls us into thanking him continuously. May the Lord help you and help me to thank God, to continue thanking God, because when you thank God unconditionally, you invoke his presence. You invite his presence. And not only his presence in your inner being, but even in the environment that you are in, and even in the outer. We bless you, Lord, and we give you honor, and we give you all the glory. Yahweh to the same year, Santi. Father, we thank you for the prayers that you did not answer in the 2023. Some of them we felt like we needed them like now. Like now, like now. But you didn't answer. We thank you for not answering. Because you have a lesson why you did not answer. We thank you for the pains that you are going through. We thank you, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Each one of us have got an issue that is hurting, that is right in the bone marrow, that is feeding us to our very inner being across the board. Each one of us, Lord. Father, we, but Father, we thank you. We thank you. We cannot limit you to not answering our prayers when we want them to be answered. We cannot limit you. You are an almighty God. You are everlasting to everlasting. You are faithful when you have answered the prayers and you are good, you are good, you are good, you are faithful, you are merciful even when you have not answered prayers. We may not be where we wanted to be. We may have even retreated back. Situations and circumstances could not be favoring us. Even as we cross the year and as we are opening the year. Some of us could be going through dark hours of our lives. But we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We want to adapt the spirit that was with Daniel, the spirit that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the spirit that was with Hannah when she thanked you, going to Shiloh without ceasing. Father, we pray that in our heart you may plant the heart of thanks, giving, thanking you all the time, ceaselessly without ceasing. And by so doing, God, you see our unconditional love for you. You are God in all the seasons. We thank you so much, O oh Lord. Teach us through the help of your spirit to thank you without ceasing. We bless your name and we give you honor. And this is our humble prayer of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Brethren, I leave you with one message. Thank God unconditionally. When you thank him, when it is very paining, you invite his presence in your situation. 
and does not he does not only come to change the situation that is affecting you directly as a person it touches the environment and far beyond and many come to know god through your thanksgiving continue thanksgiving thanking god in our situation they are the small keys that open the big doors god bless you until next tuesday shalom 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 in balaka Pacific Waves Media wish to extend our wholehearted gratitude to all our fans for your continued viewership of our content. We also express our overwhelming sense of ecstasy that has increasingly engulfed our hearts to all who have made Pacific Waves to be what it is today. Servants of God, political class, wonderful counselors, all the technocrats, and those who have used this platform to share their testimonies and so much more. God bless you all. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2024. Pacific Waves Media wish to extend our wholehearted gratitude to all our fans for your continued viewership of our content. We also express our overwhelming sense of ecstasy that has increasingly engulfed our hearts to all who have made Pacific Waves to be what it is today. Servants of God, political class, wonderful counselors, all the technocrats, and those who have used this platform to share their testimonies and so much more. God bless you all. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2024.